Pelleggi Technical Services, your computers and electronics concierge service. Welcome back. Today we have a small project on our hands. We're taking this uh, fan, which I'm using as an exhaust fan for the soldering station I have in my house. Um, this is an old, I think it's a, well, I think it's a Delta fan. I'm not 100% sure, but when this thing gets full 12 volts, it's loud and it puts out a lot of air. I guess it's supposed to be for when your computer kind of gets too hot, this thing kicks in and exhausts it. And it, it works well, but when it's, you know, when you have a PWM controller on it, you can really throttle it down. And I, I don't have one of those. I, I want to design one. I haven't really gotten around to it yet. But I'm just going to wire this up with a quick, you know, 12 volt you know, lead here, and I'm just going to ignore the other two wires. Now, I've already tried this. It works great. Just the leads are a little short, and I used to uh, stick a power supply on it. Uh, on the, there's, a, there's a cardboard chute that comes out the end of this. I used to just stick the thing on the end of the chute and plug this in the back of it. And it works, but I changed the arrangement a little bit. I just need to add a little bit longer leads on this and possibly to switch. So I'm just going to uh, put the camera and the tripod over here, and we're going to just solder up some connections here. Okay, so right now I have... Uh, a helping hand set up over here. And this is my outside shop. I'm in my shed. Um, there's a little plexiglass box here with the computer fan in the end of it. Same kind of principle. But up on top here out of frame, I'll pan up here later when I'm done, is an on-off switch that I can use to control it and actually send two different voltages from a power supply I have um, on the other side over here. So I'm just going to do these one at a time. I have uh, already cut my wire find my stripper. Most of my tools are inside. It's, I just feel like working outside today. I won't be out here too long though because there is a thunderstorm approaching. I can hear it rumbling in the background. I'm probably just going to do this quick so I can go inside and start working on some stuff. That's mainly the reason why I'm doing this is so I can fix this out here. I'm just going to put this in here like this. There's a nice mechanical bond here as well as um, the solder bond. That's kind of crimped together. I have my solder over handy. Clean my tip. I'm going to come over here and just solder this up. Let's do the next one. Bear with me for a moment over here. I'm just trying to do this. I'm sorry I'm off camera, but okay. So what I did basically did was take the two ends of the wire and they're just wrapped around, you know, each other like that. And here we go with the next one. Need the join up, hit it with the solder. Let the stuff flow. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back inside, give these a good tug, make sure they're strong. I'm going to put the uh, heat shrink over it and I'm going to give them a little bit of a twist like this just to keep them nice and neat. And uh, actually, I have a piece of heat shrink here so I can put one of them on at least. So this just slides down. that. I'm just going to hold it in my helping hands for a second. I don't have a heat gun set up here, but I do have a lighter, which I keep handy for this case. And you just quickly give it a couple passes through, let it shrink. And that's it. I love heat shrink. It's an awesome, awesome thing. It makes uh, connections nice and neat. Nothing beats a good soldered connection like that. All right. This is uh, it for this video for now, and uh, we'll come back to it later on when I go inside and have this hooked up. And before I go in, actually, I wanted to just show you what the rest of this looks like from 
panned out. This is the little cube I was telling you about with the plexiglass. And up in here you can see the switches. And the way I have that wired up is one of the switches activates low or high. So I can come over here and you can actually see it, low speed. And this is high speed, which is 12 volt or 5 volt. And then power over here, I can either shut it off in the middle. I could flip it over to the left if I want to just hold the button down in the middle just for like a quick exhaust if I, you know, if I'm doing this in the winter and I don't want to necessarily have my heat pulled out of that little hole, even though the shed isn't really the most sealed up shed. Or I can just leave it onto the right over here if I want for just constant on. And that's being powered um, by a modified ATX power supply that's over here in the corner. And this is actually revision number two. I changed this around. It used to have banana jacks up at the top, like a five-way binding post. Um, there was three pairs, one for 3.3 volt, one for 5 volt, one for 12 volt. And it wouldn't fit very well up there in that little space because it's kind of sloped. So I decided to use a barrier strip instead, which this is more of a permanent thing over here. I don't need to plug things in and out of it. And I also move the um, power switch and the LED lights over to the side over here. If you don't know about these things, they're really cool. Basically, this is just a regular computer power supply. But what I do is, is take the uh, plugs, I cut the plugs off, I back all the wires out. And all you do with them is, is just you put all the colors together. So all the black together, all the red together. That's your power. The red is 5 volt. Um, the yellow is 12 volt and the um, orange is 3.3 volt and then there's a couple other colors there and that's what um, basically makes the things operate. I'll have another separate video about those later on um, but this one's just permanently installed here and that big fat um, red black wire that's going over there that goes over to a um, boom box over in the corner here that I'll pan around and show you and I also made that um, Again, I'll have a separate video on that, but that's what I use for sound here. And this little uh, it box, this little transformer over here I showed you, powers the whole the whole shed, basically, as far as the low voltage things would go. And has more than enough power for what I need. But that's uh, my little outdoor soldering setup. Pretty neat. But let me... Let's go inside and we'll see what the, this looks like when this is done. Oh, here we are back in the inside shop, and you can see I have the uh, template that will stick in the window over here. I finished the solder job. I also managed to put a piece of heat shrink that contains all the wires down here in the bottom, not just the two at the top, just to kind of hold it all together, keep it from fraying apart. And what we're going to do now is put this... Uh, in the window, I'm going to slip the cardboard sleeve over the front of it. It's going to come in this little opening right here, right in that window there, which you can see is on an angle. So I had to angle this just right to work. And uh, I'm going to put this camera on the tripod and we'll get this set up here in a second. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to take this wire. I'm just going to feed it into this hole. This is already, uh, this was already done before, so I have an idea how it goes. As far as this will come out here like this. Before when I had it, the wire came out the top over here. It didn't look so good. This is a lot better. So I'm just going to sit this in front of the window. desk here. Here we are back. The uh, fan's mounted in the window. I have the wire ran through. The ends of these wires are going to get connected in the corner to that power supply, and the fan will turn on temporarily. This is how I'm going to have it set up. 
so I'll have to connect it and disconnect it as I need. But in the future, I will have another power supply over here behind this. Um, this box that this lamp sitting on is, is the same size box I'm using. It's just there as a as a mock-up, I guess you could say. But that's going to be replaced with a power supply that'll have a variety of outputs on it to control these different devices that I have on my desk. And that power supply is also powering my uh, internet router and switch that I have, so I don't have to have a bunch of different little power supplies running. It's all basically just one power supply. This is a little stronger than the one I have in the shed. It's a 400 watt, I believe, and the other one's only a 200 watt. This is something I'm using for when I build projects. I can use it to power them, so I need something with a little more power in it. But that one will be added to the new um, power supply I use, and I'll have a, a smaller one over here just to power the internet stuff. That way it keeps it dedicated for that. And I'll also use it to power some small Arduino projects that I use. And that's basically it for that. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I will have another one coming up soon on putting together this super um, stereo ear kit that I bought at Radio Shack the other day. It was on sale, 50% off. Our, our, I think my local Radio Shack is closing just like the rest of them. Um, pretty much all the rest of them in this area have. There's only a couple left. And the one I went to the other day said something on their seat about last return days at the end of August, so I'm assuming they're closing, which is kind of a, sh a shame. You know, I liked Radio Shack. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of their prices were higher, I guess you could you could say, on some of the things compared to buying it online and paying shipping for it and getting a better deal, so it's, you know, unfortunate, but they weren't really much of a DIY place as much as they were back in the day. But... Uh, that video should be coming up soon, and uh, thanks for watching this one. If you have any comments, please make sure you leave them at the bottom. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Till next time.